The people are upset. There's no place for them to shop. So you have to build them a mall. Join me as we learn how to play All Out Mall. Mr. Becker here from Making Mathsters, and today I'm going to teach you how to play the game All Out Mall. To begin with, all you need is some markers. In our game today, it's going to be blue player versus red player. We're going to need some graph paper, or this, or you can make your own on Microsoft Word, and it's going to look something like that. And you're going to need some dice. Now, dice, since many of you are going to be teachers watching this, uh, you've probably heard of differentiation. Uh, how to reach different levels of, of your students. And I love dice. I love playing with them. I think the kids enjoy it. I mean, you stick a die in front of someone, and I bet that they're going to just roll it. Try that. But with dice is that they come in all sorts of shapes, and they come all sorts of, of different numbers on, on these dice. I have a, a normal six-sided die. I have a 12-sided die. I have an eight-sided die. I even have a 20-sided die. Uh, you go on Amazon and you can search for all sorts of different dice. You even found a website in which you can create custom dice. Hmm. We'll talk about custom dice later in a different video for King's Blessing. Anyway, uh, you have to decide what type of, uh, you have to use two dice and you have to decide early on before the game starts which dice you're going to use. So for my game between red and blue we're going to use just two standard six-sided dice. You also need to figure out your graph paper then. If you use really tiny graph paper and you use dice that only have like four sides this game is going to take a long time. But if you would use a 20-sided die on graph paper that looks like this, uh, you're not even going to have a game. It could be done in, in one move. So you have to really think about uh, the size of your graph paper and the dice that it is that you're going to be using. So for our game between blue and red, we're going to use this graph paper. And we have to decide what area the city council gave us to build our malls. See, the premise is that these people really wanted a mall, and the city council says, oh, we'll not give them one, but we'll give them two. But they really didn't think about it. They didn't think it through, because yes, they're going to have two malls, but they only have one piece of land to build these malls on. So now we have these two players, blue and red. They are going to go against each other, trying to build the biggest mall possible because the biggest mall, in the end, is the one that's going to stay open, while the one that is smaller is going to be forced to close. So, blue and red, they agree. Okay, we're going to use two standard six-sided dice, and we are going to use this type of graph paper. So one of them, and they have to agree, it's going to take out a black marker, and they're going to draw the border for their mall. Now, this is where I would use a straight edge, and make sure that you use full squares. You can see on the, the side here that that's not a full square and that's not going to work for our game about area. Now it can be just a rectangle. It could look something a little more complicated in which it has ins and outs. But please make sure that whoever is playing understands that for the area, we're not going to want to use any curved uh, edges. Although you can find the, ed the area with curved edges, um, I don't think that's appropriate for this level that's going to be playing this game. So, we have blue and red. Blue is going to go over here. Red's going to go over here. Blue rolls a die, he rolls a four. Red rolls a die, oh, got to roll again. Uh, five and a two, so blue is going to go first. Now blue is going to roll both of them. And what this means then is that blue is going to be able to, to make a part of his mall right away. And this is this, the starting one, a very important move in the game, is he can decide wherever it is that he wants to build so he's going to roll, and he rolls a 1 and a 4. 
So what that means is that he gets to build a, a part of his mall that is going to be an area of 1 by 4. Now, that, now that's not very big. But Blue has to decide, and he has to decide right now where he wants to build it, and he's going to go right in the center. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, by a 1, and Blue now has a mall that has an area of 4. So 4, put a little circle on it, around it, and then shade it in. Red's turn. Now Red, big move for Red, he hasn't played any part of his mall yet either, so he gets to roll, and he rolls a 2 and a 3, so he is going to make a 2 by 3 part of his mall, and he's going to go right next to Blue, and he's going to go 1, 2, 3 by 2, and he knows that he has six squares shaded in, so he has an area of six. Now it's Blue's turn again. Now, Blue has to connect his mall. And he has to connect it not on a diagonal. So Blue is now going to have to build off his current mall. So he rolls ooh, a six and a five. That is a good roll for Blue. He's going to make a part of his mall that is going to be 5 units by 6 units for a grand total of 30 square units. Now he has to build it off of, of his existing mall. So he can't build it on a diagonal. Imagine someone would have to go through the mall and then they'd have to like step outside to get back into the mall. We don't want that. We want this all connected by one of the sides. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now he's going to go over 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He knows that this is going to be a rectangle. He can count by, by 6's. 6, 12, 18, 24, or 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He knows that he has a grand total of 30. He's going to shade those in. Red's turn. Red has gotten cut off down here. He still wants this. He wants to know if he can maybe possibly go around that way. Big move, big roll for Red. He rolls a 9. An area of 9. 3 by 3. Alright. So, Red doesn't want Blue to be able to come up here. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And he can count by 3's. 3, 6, and 9. Blue's turn. Blue rolls a 1 by 4. Blue is going to try to cut off red. So he can't build this way, but he could go here. He's going to go 1 by 1, 2, 3, 4. And he's extending his mall that way. Now, Red needs a good roll here because if he's going to get trapped, if he gets trapped here, the game is pretty much over. Four by five. Unfortunately for Red, this is only a, a distance of three. Red cannot build up anymore. This is going to be big time trouble for Red, but he is going to try to go down here. One, two, three, four, five. He could do that. So 5 by 4 is his rectangle. Blue's turn. Blue knows that he wants to cut this off. Pretty much any roll is going to work, I think. 2 by 5, and now we have 2 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now red is in big time trouble. Blue can keep working all of this, and red is going to be able to only work in here. Um, I think we can tell who's going to win this game. Well, how, how do we know who is going to win? By the end of the game, you're going to have to count up all the area of all your rectangles, and it is the player with the biggest area is indeed the winner. While the one who has a smaller area that mall is going to have to close. 
the game ends when both players have rolled um, two times in a row that they they can't they can't roll any they can't put their 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 mall they can't extend their mall anymore um, so if red rolls and he rolled a six by six and let's say that that this wasn't here and then then blue rolled a five by six and and then red rolled another six by six and then blue rolled a six by six uh, then the game is over because there was was four straight turns of no one being able to add on to their malls so that is pretty much the game of all out mall it is a race to cut each other off to build the biggest mall uh, lots of different things that you can do with it for example this was just a six by six game um, but ex for those students who for those kids who who already know a lot of their multiplication facts and then, then bump it up uh, use dice that that have all the digits on them uh, maybe use two of those you could possibly use a 20-sided die but I wouldn't use two 20-sided die together um, maybe a 20-sided die and even like a four-sided die you just have to be really careful about the graph paper that you're using because you would never want to use a 20-sided die on this graph paper or you don't even really have a game um, other things that you could do you could print off your own graph paper and put shaded in areas and pretend that those are are places of, of land that you can't build whether the, the city there's something underground that, that the city says nope you can't build over it and it just leads to a little more uh, excitement if, if some of that excitement leaves um, one thing I forgot was what happens if they play in a move that you can't do so let's say that blue blue rolled their dice and blue rolled a two by a two and blue said okay I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say that's a two uh, no remember that you can't play on the diagonals so blue made an invalid move so blue is going to cross this out no one is going to be able to build on this area anymore and now red is going to take two turns in a row two turns in a row do not mess up uh, the mall really bad really bad so I hope you enjoyed learning about how to play the game all out mall um, please let me know your comments you can put those uh, in the comment feed below ask me any questions and thanks for watching